tiene, el Ibi. Jag kan inte begå att gå till mailen. Jag kan inte säga att du är aktör i Gurusor. Alla men det. By the way, my wife Shirley. I know. I I met her when we came. Yes, we came. Well, her name is so important in the world, and the fact that she identified herself as an ethnic Albanian. She said that she was Albanian by blood, Indian by citizenship. One of the great things. Uh, that has happened to me uh, in representing uh, the uh, Bronx and Westchester over the last uh, 14 years is having a very large Albanian constituency. Uh, this is uh, a people that uh, recognize family, uh, recognize education, uh, and recognize that uh, America is a great place. And uh, one of the things that we were able to do uh, was uh, commemorate the Declaration of the Independence of Kosovo uh, in the State Senate, and Joe was there. And This cathedral will be a symbol for all of Europe when it's done, but the building of this cathedral is a great sign of Kosovo building itself as a new state. Nothing ever happens that is great without difficulties, without challenges. You know that. And the challenge to put up a church that will be a fitting monument to Mother Teresa, a fitting monument to the Catholic presence among the Albanian people, a fitting monument to the unity of the, the Catholics and the Muslims and, and all those who worked together in that terrible time ten years ago when we were, when we wondered whether they would be able to be a Kosovo. And that has passed now. And as, as uh, Congressman de Guardi mentioned, we are now at a stage where our country and the European Union and, and so many of the great countries of the world have said, yes, it is time for Kosovo to be its own nation. I once said to President Clinton, do you know that Mother Teresa's cathedral is going to be at the corner of Mother Teresa Boulevard and Bill Clinton Street. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of the Albanian people. So proud of the people of Kosovo. And I know them. Uh, Bishop Dirk Jerji came with Damdush Jerji. Stand up, Damdush. And Father Sean Zephi, stand up. These great priests in Kosovo. Great Spirti Zemera. It was Henry Hyde that told me and Shirley, you know, the Albanians are really getting beat up in public uh, opinion. And down here in Washington, you can't believe what this new Serb lobby is doing to talk about Albanians being Muslims, terrorists, fundamentalists, violent people, drug dealers. He says, Joe, I know who they are. You know who they are. You've taught us a lot, you Albanian Americans. But the press is picking up some of these stories. And you need to put a Christian face on the Albanian people. We know that they're majority Muslim. They're good people. None, they're secular, non-fundamentalists. But help me, Joe and Shirley, put a Christian face. So what did we do? We called Bishop Sopi, and we explained the problem. He refused twice. He thought it was getting involved too much in politics. I never forget how difficult a time it was. We had to get one of the members of our board again to call him and, and, and urge him in Albanian why this was so important, and then he came. Now we have another great bishop with great energy, and we have met him several times in Pristina, and the energy he's put behind this beautiful cathedral is amazing. He's already, on his own, went to Europe, Switzerland and Germany, and raised two million euros 
to put the foundation in. This is not a building that hasn't started. This is a building that has the foundation in, and they're almost finished with the rectory. Realizimi i kësaj vejpre është dëtyre jona për bashkët për të quhe në vend, jo vetëm dërimin dhe dashurin që kemi për nënë të rejzen, por edhe amaletin që e në i kanë lanën prezidenti i përherëshëm, Zotë Ibrahim Rukova, dhe i peshbi Marksopi, të cëllën nga dritarja që e dhe sëtë gëzohën dhe në vëllën të rojnë nëjve. Zotë i bekoft të Amerikën, Kosovën e pavarur, popullin shqiptarë, Katedralin Len Trezan e Prishtin dhe Shqiptarët e Amerikës. Motra Vlezër, jepni për Katedralin Len Trezan. Jepni për nënëm. Në nëmë e përgjallin të nëtër shumër. The fact that Senator Schumer is with us right now, as Joe said, it's Memorial Day. Our troops are fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan. It's a presidential election year. Every member of Congress is in demand today, and especially senior members like Senator Chuck Schumer. But he's with us, and he chose to be with us on this important day for Albanians in New York and around the world because as you know, in this room, he has always been with us. He was with us fighting for freedom when Kosovo was not free. He was with us defending Albanians when they were being mercilessly and falsely attacked as a Muslim terrorist force in the heart of Europe. It was Senator Schumer with Congressman Lantos and Congressman Gilman who were with us tonight who said no. Albanians are Christians, Muslims, Jews. They have been living in harmony for centuries. Please give a rousing welcome to the senior senator of New York, our great friend and supporter, Chuck Schumer. Well, thank you, Joe, and thank you, Shirley. It is great to be here tonight. I want to thank all of you. And I have two words. Roft Kosova! Now let me just say, when I last spoke to you in 2005, an independent Kosovo was a hope, it was a dream, but no one thought it would become a reality. Today it is a reality, and praise God. We have learned over the decades and centuries that it is so important to give people freedom and to give people self-determination. The people of Kosovo have for centuries lived under oppression, unable to be who they are, practice their religion as they wish, and be proud of their own nationality and being able to fly a Kosovo flag over Kosovo. And now they can. And that is wonderful for the people of Kosovo and it is wonderful for America. And as you know, our country has stood by Kosovo and will continue to stand by Kosovo as long as I have anything to do with it. And the attempts by Putin and so many others to take away Kosovan freedom will fail. Free Kosovo, Roft Kosovo.